Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, and today we're gonna to be talking about my sci-fi TBR. So recently I have really wanted to jump into the sci-fi genre. I do read primarily fantasy and I'm just trying to dabble in some other things. And I have found eight books that I am really excited to get to. So I'm going to order these in the length of the book. So we're going to start with some really tiny sci-fis and we're going to go all the way up to some really chunky ones. Before we get started, if you guys have any favorite sci-fi that you have read, list them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear it. The first one coming in at 118 pages is The Time Machine. So I've never read an H.G. Wells before, and so I am kind of excited to get into this book. Um, I don't know a lot about it other than it is a first-hand experience of a time traveler who goes 800,000 years in the future and kind of gets to see uh, where Earth is getting ready to end and, you know, what everything looks like at that point in time. I think it sounds interesting. I'm excited to see where it goes. Next book that we're going to talk about is 153 pages, and that is To Be Taught If Fortunate. Uh, this book is by Becky Chambers, which I have currently read the Monk and the Robot series by them, I believe is what it's called, which has been really cute. Uh, it's definitely, I think uh, her writing style is very calming and soothing along with having some social commentary in it as well. Um, and so I've, I've enjoyed the books that I've read by this author at this point in time, so I'm kind of interested to see what else they've written. It is kind of that common storyline where Earth has become, become uninhabitable, and there are some explorers who are traveling to um, other planets, but instead of finding planets that fit our needs, I guess the explorers actually can change their own features and change their bodies to uh, accommodate different planets. Um, and so I guess humans in general evolve at a much quicker rate. I'm not exactly sure. It sounds like a unique premise that I haven't read before, which isn't saying much since I haven't read a lot of sci-fi, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. The next one is 184 pages, and that is Mem. I don't know a ton about this book. Uh, I just was researching short sci-fi to kind of give myself some options to read uh, some the sci-fi genre without getting you know, pulled into very long books without me thinking or knowing if I'm going to enjoy the premise uh, in general. So I kind of wanted to give myself kind of a broad variety of different books. So this one focuses on, I guess, I don't know if they're AI or what exactly they are, but people, there has been some development in technology where they can take memories out of people's heads and then they become beings themselves, like the memories, and I guess that being lives that memory over and over again until one of them doesn't, until one of them actually can create memories themselves, and then it's it goes from there. Uh, so I thought it sounded interesting, and I don't think I've, I've read a lot about, or not read, but I, I guess I've seen a lot of movies about memories and uh, things like that being taken out of people or... Uh, implanted in people or people kind of having scientific um, technologies that mess with our memories or their brains in general. Um, but I don't know that I've ever heard of one that kind of has that mashed with like the AI robots. And I'm assuming things go wrong, <laughs> but we'll see. <laughs> the next is 201 pages and that is Elder Race. And this book to me, the synopsis sounds very fantasy, and so I was excited whenever uh, this was, whenever I was looking up sci-fi books, this was one that popped up, just because the uh, synopsis to it does sound very much like some of the books that I've read in the fantasy realm. And so um, I guess this land is being attacked and um, uprooted by what people think is a demon, and there are... Uh, there's a specific family, I guess, that has a pact with a high sorcerer of the land. The synopsis says that the sorcerer isn't actually a sorcerer and can't help the land and actually thinks that something other than a demon is attacking the land, that it's not actually what people think that it is, um, and so he's not going to be able to help them. It sounds very fantasy to me, and I like the aspect of there being you know, a force that's coming in and destroying a world, someone who maybe has the ability to help but can't. Um, I, I think I like that premise, so hopefully it's good. 
The next book is 320 pages and it is The Last Guentista. And this book is about a storyteller. So you have, um, I guess, a group of people were selected to travel from Earth, um, which is no longer safe. And so they were selected to travel to a new planet. So very typical sci-fi storyline. But I guess there is a person, I'm not sure uh, what their gender is, but um, there's a person on the, the ship that is um, or is related to a storyteller and um, has kind of fallen in love with the art of storytelling. And I'm just going from the synopsis, so I, I could be completely off base. But in the ship, I guess the ship gets attacked um, because someone wants to destroy humanity's memories. And everyone else on the ship loses their memories or is no longer there. And uh, this person, there's only one person who has essentially all their memories, like the human race's memories. And so it's supposed to be kind of the last storyteller. And so I... I was kind of drawn to this because I really enjoy the storytelling aspect. I enjoy books about um, oral word and, you know, the spreading of, of stories uh, throughout history. I think that's a really interesting thing um, about humanity. And so, yeah, I think that this will be fun. The next coming in at 462 pages is A Memory Called Empire. I've heard a lot of love for this book on booktube and so I am excited to give it a read, maybe a little uh, skeptical because I know that sometimes books do get really hyped. Um, but the storyline does sound interesting. You have, I guess, an ambassador who's coming in to replace their predecessor who died in mysterious circumstances. And so there's a little bit of a mystery there. Um, this person who comes in has to navigate the politics of, I guess, an alien race. I, I wasn't quite sure on that part. And along with trying to figure out whether or not they're safe and uh, being there politically for the people that they are representing, along with solving maybe this potential murder. So uh, political things are, are kind of hit or miss with me, so, but I've heard that this is really well written and a lot of people really love the story, so I want to give it a go. The next book I am excited to get to is Skyward. This comes in at 513 pages. This is a YA sci-fi by Brandon Sanderson, and if you guys have watched any of my previous videos, I do love Brandon Sanderson. The Stormlight Archive is one of my all-time favorite series. Um, I have not read any of his YA, unless you consider Mistborn YA which I don't know that I do, but maybe it is. <laughs> it apparently is about a young girl who wants to be a pilot, but there are some difficulties in her storyline due to her father's desert desertion of his duties. Um, and so it's kind of her story of growing up and reaching out for her dreams. And the last book that I'm going to talk about coming in at 753 pages is The Empire of Silence. I talked about this book in the end of the year book tag that I did, so I will link that. Um, this book, I am hoping, will be a five-star read. Um, it is a five-star five prediction of mine. The synopsis to this book, which I won't read the whole thing to you guys, but if you go in and read it, it sounds, when you're reading it, it sounds like you're in a movie theater, like with all of the cinematics. Um, it's just really well written and it, it made me excited to read the book. This book is about a person who is fleeing from their past, who's had some very bad things happen and has led to some very astronomical things um, that have affected other people. So there are some people who believe that he's a monster and others that believe that he is a saint. Um, apparently he's destroyed suns and destroyed alien races and um, so he's kind of caught in the middle of this political storm and, uh, this other country or other world's war because of him fleeing some bad circumstances. And so I'm interested to read this and I'm really hoping that it's a five-star read. Um, I know it's a really chunky book, but I have high hopes for it. So that's it for my sci-fi TBR. If you guys have read any of these books, I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next time.